When drafting a project in Scrivener, you can set up the documents or sections of your manuscript however you want. Scrivener can accommodate many different approaches to formatting and organization. But when you want to compile your project, you need a way of telling Scrivener what each document in your project is, so the compiler can export it how you want it. For instance, is the document a scene within a chapter, or is it a whole chapter in itself, or is it a title page or an appendix? This is the sort of thing the compiler needs to know in order to format your manuscript correctly, and this is accomplished using section types. For example, let's say I'm writing a novel and I use individual text documents for scenes contained within a chapter folder. I can set up the section types so Scrivener knows to treat each folder as the start of a new chapter and each document within it as a scene. First, I'll go to Project, Project Settings, where the two default section types are here already, Group and Text. I can edit these, renaming them Chapter and Scene. Then if we open the Inspector, and click on the Metadata tab, you'll see the section type is here, and it can be set manually using the drop-down list. I'll make sure all my folders are set as chapter, and all the text documents are scenes. Alternatively, if I'm writing a novel with parts and each document is a whole chapter, we'll set up section types so that individual documents are chapters and the folders are parts. It's also possible to open the Project Settings dialog from the inspector by clicking on the drop-down list for section types and clicking Edit. We'll rename both section types and you'll notice that the name updates in the inspector. If you have more than two types of document in your project, for example if you want to add an appendix with different formatting, you can simply add a new section type here using the plus symbol. Now let's open the compiler. First of all, note that the section type for each folder or document is listed here on the right hand side and can be quickly adjusted here if you've mislabeled anything. But even though we've named what these sections are, Scrivener doesn't know how to format them yet, which is why the Compile dialog has this Section Layouts column. For this example, we'll choose the Modern format from the column on the left. The Section Layouts column has now changed to display previews of the available section layouts for this format, but you'll notice the yellow box at the top is letting us know that none of these layouts have been assigned to our section types yet. To do that, we'll click Assign Section Layouts. In this dialog, we simply select a section type from the left-hand column and choose how we want it to look from the previews on the right. Since this novel is divided into parts, I want Scrivener to include a page break before each new part begins, then print the part number. So for the part section type, I'll choose this part number page layout. For the chapter section type, I'll choose chapter, which will begin a new page for each new chapter Print a chapter number at the top of the page, then begin the text below. If I wanted the document titles to be printed as well, chapter with title or titled section would print the document title before beginning the main text. If you're happy with how your text looks in Scrivener's editor, you can choose the As Is section layout. This will compile that document with the formatting kept exactly as it appears in Scrivener's editor. Let's hit OK and you'll notice that the Section Layouts column now only shows the two section layouts we've assigned to our section types, Part and Chapter. Clicking on a section layout in this column will now highlight which documents the layout will be applied to in the Project Contents column on the right. I think we're ready to compile, so I'll hit Compile and we'll open the document in Preview to see how it looks. As you can see, there's a page break before Part 1 and the subsequent parts. Each new chapter starts on a fresh page, and everything is formatted after the section layouts we chose in the compiler. If I need to apply another format to it, it's as simple as going back to the Compile dialog in Scrivener and choosing another format from the column on the left, but Scrivener has remembered which section layouts I chose for the modern format, so if I select that format again, I can compile the manuscript without needing to assign section types again. This time, let's choose the paperback format. I'll use the same section layouts, part number page and chapter, and you'll see how the paperback format presents them differently. It's also worth noting there's a font override here at the top of the section layouts. Normally this is set to use the font specified by each section layout, but you can change it here to apply a new font to the entire compiled manuscript, including documents which are assigned the as is section layout. Taking a look at the compiled PDFs side by side, you can see we have the same text, but formatted differently all by simply applying section types to the document, then choosing section layouts when you compile. To quickly recap, here are the steps you need to follow. 
set up the section types you need in project settings. Using the metadata pane in the inspector, apply section types to the documents and folders in your project. When you compile the document, select a format from the left-hand column, apply your section layouts in the central column, and compile. Scrivener has a number of built-in project templates available from the new project menu, and if you use these you will notice that they each have section types and layouts already set up, so you won't need to go through this process for projects created from templates unless you want to change how they are set up by default. It's also worth looking at some of these for further examples of how you can use section types and section layouts. That's all for now, but in the next video we're going to explore a way to make assigning section types a lot easier and less laborious, so make sure to tune in. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!